Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, feel free to go down and click subscribe. If you're a return viewer of reviewer, blah, 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 blah. if you're a return viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about today is an instant network upgrade, speed upgrade. Well, kind of. I say that because the manufacturer uses that, but what we're going to be talking about today is one of QNAP. You know them for their NASs, but they have a very interesting line of networking gear um, that is 2.5 gigabit. Now, this is the QSW1105-5T, and it is a 5-port, 2.5 gigabit switch, and it is unmanaged. On the bottom, you can see it's got mounts. There you go. It's got, uh, you can put screws in the wall, mount it here, or it's got feet. It does come with the feet. It also comes with uh, mounting uh, hardware, screws, anchors, and then you have the power adapter. Now, the really nice thing about 2.5 gig is that you can drop it in and use your existing Cat 5e. There's no need to replace all of your Cat 5e at this time. Um, you might even be able to take that Cat 5e to 5 gigs. That's something that we're going to be testing. But 2.5 will definitely work over Cat 5e. So before we plug this in, we've got the QNAP, the switch. Thank you, QNAP, for sending that out. I uh, am waiting for them. They're also sending me a network adapter. But uh, the next thing that I have here, I bought this myself. This is a Sabrent uh, USB. It's uh, USB-C on the, the business side there. And this is a 1, a 2.5, or a 5 gigabit Ethernet adapter. It plugs into your computer via USB. Now, we're going to plug this in. We're going to see if the computer recognizes it over a Cat5e cable. At least it'll tell us if it's negotiated at, at 2.5. Um, and it won't be until the next video, which is where we're going to talk about this bad boy, which is a QNAP NAS that has two 2.5 gig ports in the back. And thank you to QNAP for sending that out. Then we'll get into the speed test and things like that. But it's a very interesting... It's a very interesting concept that with Wi-Fi 6 coming out, everybody's going to be hot for that. And, you know, you can get access points. The access points where the manufacturers are really serious about this are coming with more than a 1 gig port. They're coming with multi-gig ports. And it's interesting, you know, QNAP uh, is, you know, getting really into this networking gig. And... You know, if you've got a Wi-Fi 6 AP and you've got a power adapter, now this one does not do uh, PoE, but there are 2.5 gig, 5 gig, and 10 gig switches, multi-gig switches that do PoE. And so being able to do 2.5 gig over your standard, you know, Cat 5e, that's going to allow you to adopt some of the newer technology without completely redoing your infrastructure. So real quick, let's hop over to the computer. We'll take a look at the, the specs directly from QNAP. And then we'll plug in, we'll plug in with a Cat5 cable and see if this thing negotiates. So let's take a look. Here is the website. I'll leave a link to this switch. I'll leave a link to the Sabrent uh, down in the uh, description. So right here it tells, tells you it's five 2.5 gig ports and it instantly upgrades your network to take advantage of the 2.5 gig enabled devices without requiring new cabling. So immediately multiply your network speed by 2.5 times while using existing Cat 5e. Here's another cool thing. When we get to that NAS, we're going to be able to actually um, bond those ports and that NAS will then have five gig. There's no complex settings. Everything is auto-negotiating. It does have automatic loop detection and blocking, so it does have some spanning tree or some loop something going on in here, even though this isn't managed. It is fanless, and here it tells us it is 2.5 times uh, faster. Now, 
you will see some other switches. They did send me another switch, but I wanted to introduce this first, introduce this NAS, and then I have another NAS that has a 10 gig port that we are gonna introduce, and then we're gonna play with all the NASs together. It's good to have competition, QNAP, three million plus deployed devices that are out there alive today, so they are definitely um, a major player in the NAS market, and, and we're gonna take a look at them and give them just a fair shake as we do everything else. So uh, QNAP does have, and I'll show you an expansion card in the next video, they do have uh, multi-gig um, expansion cards, and I've got one of their 2.5 gig cards that they sent over. So it's, it's, this is super duper interesting. So real quick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power this up, I'm gonna plug the Sabrin in, and uh, we're gonna see if this will negotiate at the proper speed. So give me just a minute to get everything plugged in. I'm not gonna put any feet or anything on, on the QNAP uh, switch yet. I haven't decided if I wanna mount it back here behind us. I'm almost, I'm like thinking about that, but I've got a different switch for that. Maybe, I don't know, it's, it's hard to decide. I got such a nice clean wall with just a little bit of tech stuff back there. It's kinda of hard to uh, decide. Also, the other thing you'll notice is that on this switch, the power is uh, on the front. So I'm gonna get this plugged in. We'll get the Sabrent plugged in. Let me get move things around here. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, the switch is powering on and is doing its initialization. Started out with uh, red and green lights. Now I've got no lights besides the power. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug the Sabrent into my laptop. I got it on the first shot. That'll never happen again. All right, so now I need an Ethernet cable. And I think I've got one right here. In fact, I don't even really have to move things around. I've just got this, this Ethernet cable, nothing special. All right, so I am going to, obviously I don't have any network plugged into this yet, um, any uplink or anything like that, so we're not gonna get an IP address. I just wanna simply see, will this thing actually negotiate at uh, two and a half gig? Like I said, we'll get into all the speed tests and everything a little later. So let's bring up our settings and go to ethernet, unidentified network here. Let's go to change adapter options. And here is our adapter. Let's look at the status. And it is definitely negotiated at 2.5 gigabits per second. Now it does not have an IP address, but it is negotiated at 2.5 gig using a standard Cat5e cable. Now obviously there's probably gonna be distance limitations and all kinds of stuff. We can get into that in another video, but if you're gonna start having NASs and other devices that need or have the ability to have 2.5, which is kind of like the next step, right? There's one, 2.5, five, and then 10. This 2.5 for a drop-in switch, uh, the MSRP on this thing, let's check that out real quick. All right, so it looks like you can pick it up from B&H for about $109, $109 from Adorama and then it looks like it probably goes up from there. So for about 100 bucks, 110 bucks, you can add 2.5 gig, five ports. Now it's not PoE, but like I said, we're gonna look at some other options. This is a nice entry level 2.5, and uh, it is what it is. Let me know what you think about this. Is this something you would consider doing to your network, dropping in one of these multi-gig switches? instead of running all new Cat6A uh, or Cat6 or whatever the new cabling standard is gonna be. Uh, you know, I, I almost think it makes more sense to leverage your existing cabling and drop in new switches and use that cabling while you can because cabling can be very, very expensive. 
So let me know what you think down in the comments. Is, is this, you know, do you think this is viable? This is where we can just drop in new equipment and have those new speeds. Let me know what you think for sure. And make sure, you know, that you come back for the other QNAP video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you want to support the channel by using all of our affiliate links, they are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks over to the channel. It's always appreciated. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.